Today I'm taking a look at the Ulna NVMe SATA dual bay duplicator. So this is kind of interesting. It says that both of the SSDs have to be NVMe SSD or SATA M.2 SSD. So you can't mix and match, which the interesting thing about that is that most duplicators, most, well, ports in general can only accept one or the other. You can't use an NVMe or a SATA inside the same port. So I'm curious how they managed to accomplish that, but it does say that it supports NVMe and SATA. So pretty cool. So here is the dock. We can see we got our clone button there on the front. It has a progress indicator here on the side. It is well labeled, so you can tell this one's a source, this one's the target. So you're going to put the drive with the data on it here and the drive you're recording to over here. And it says here the source has to be smaller or equal size to the target. So you cannot record from a two terabyte drive to a one terabyte drive. The source has to be smaller. And it says it works with SATA and NVMe right here. So on the back, we got a Type C port for connecting to the computer. We got a power button and we got our power input. So you got rubber feet on the bottom and it looks like you got a nice big heat sink in there as well. This is nice. We got a couple of different options for connecting this to our our computer we got USB C to USB A and we got USB C to USB C. And last up we got our power supply. It says it's good for 100 to 240 volts, so it's good for international or domestic. It outputs two amps at 12 volts. So I'm gonna start with an NVMe drive. This is an SK Hynix. My laptop uses Thunderbolt 3, so I'm gonna be using the USB C to USB C cable and power. So it does have a light on here letting us know that it does see that drive and it did pull that up right away. And we can read those files. So now I'm going to do a speed test. Okay, so we are looking at about 10 gigabit per second speeds on here. So the sequential one by eight process one thread. We got 1,059 on the read and 1,050 on the write. So now let's go ahead and shut this guy off and I'll put in the second drive, turn it back on. And just out of curiosity, I'm gonna do a speed test on that drive as well. So we are looking at about 10 gigabit per second speeds on that one as well. A little bit slower on the write, but about the same on the read. I'm gonna go into my E drive, which is the target, and I'm going to delete everything. Now I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to unplug it from the computer. So this, I just want to test the offline clone. So we have both the LEDs on, so I'm going to do is press and hold clone until the 25% starts blinking. There we go. We are now cloning. Okay, and we appear to have a clone. So right now it should only show the one drive. It does, so we only see the one drive. That is because the other drive is currently cloned. So I'm going to right click, go to disk management. Our disk two is currently offline. So ideally what we would do here is we would unplug our disk one, plug our disk two in, and that would be our clone. But since we want to see both drives, I'm just going to turn this one online. And there is our second drive. It does have the files on it and they do play. Cool. So the last thing I want to do, I'm going to unplug these NVMe drives and I want to try a SATA drive. Look at that. That is amazing. So it actually works. Most ports that work with NVMe only work with NVMe. If you try to plug a SATA drive into that, then it will just fry the drive, probably fry the port too. And the same thing goes for SATA to NVMe. This actually works on both. That is excellent. And it does play those files as well. So I want to do a speed test on a SATA drive. It should be about 400 to 500 megabytes per second. Okay, so we actually got 563 on the read. So this is definitely reading at the full speed that this SATA drive is capable of. So up until this point, I did not realize that there was such a thing that could read NVMe as well as SATA drives, but this one can do it. So that is a very nice, very useful dock. I'm happy with that.